Okay, the day you've been waiting for. We're on Module 4, Lesson 3. We're dividing multi-digit whole numbers today. So we're going to do some practice on here and see how we do. So let's take a look at the first one right here. 256 divided by 18. So our first one, we're taking 256. The first number goes on the inside. The second number goes on the outside. Now when we look at this, 18 cannot fit into 2, but it can fit into 25 once, and I'm going to subtract that. When we're doing division, we need to make sure that our handwriting is nice and neat, and we are lining things up. If you have a hard time, get graph paper, and that will help you. So we're going to divide, so we have to borrow. Um, 15 minus 8 is 7, and we're going to bring down our 6. Now we have to see how many times 18 can go into 76. So we're going to come to the side and we're going to do some checking to see what we're going to do. I'm going to try 8 times 7, but I think that one's going to be too big. Let's not do that one. 8 times 3, that's what I'm going to start with. You get 24. 54 there. Let's try 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 4, 5, 6, 7. So I get 72 there, so I'm going to put a 4 up here. Subtract 72, I get a 4. So 14 remainder 4. Today we will be doing remainders, and the next lesson it will not be remainders. Our next one right here, we have 1,122 divided by 22. Uh, so when I learned how to do division, my teacher taught me to put these little triangle or like carrots on the top. That way I know there needs to be a number on top of each of them. That And it helps me from keeping everything straight and lined up. 22 cannot fit into 1. It cannot fit into 11, but it can fit into 112. We're going to come off to the side, and we're going to multiply it. So we get 10, 11. So I'm going to put a 5 up here. So we have 110. We subtract this, we get a 2. Bring down our 2. And we get a 1, because 22 times 1 is 22. We are going to skip this part right here. And we're going to go up here to the top. The first number goes underneath. The second number goes on the outside. 5 goes into 5 once. And we need to make sure there's a number that goes right up here. 5 cannot go into 0, so we're going to put 10. Our next one, we have 165 divided by 10. I'm going to go ahead and put my little things above each of them so I know I need to have three spots. 10 cannot fit into 1, but it can fit into 16 once because 10 times 1 is 10. We get a 6 and we're going to bring down a 5. 10 goes into 65 six times because that is 60 and we get a remainder of 5. Now guys remember if you're watching this and I'm going too fast, pause it. On YouTube there is something that you can slow things down so Slow it down. Make it so it goes at your speed. You can always... Okay, so this is what we're going to have. 189 does not go into 7 or 73, but it goes into 737 three times. So we're going to subtract 567. We get a 0. Borrow. 13 minus 6. We get 7 bring down the 1. And now we have to figure out how many times 1. 9 goes into 1,701, and that answer is 9, because 189 times 9 is 1,701. So our answer is 39. Now let's take a look at our next one. Our next one is 5,104 divided by 116. And we have to see how many times that can go into there. So there are four numbers here. So we're going to four things above it. It cannot fit into 5 or 51, but it can fit into 510 four times. If I go to the side and I do that, I get 24, 6, and a 4. So we're going to subtract 4, 64. We're going to come over to the 5 and borrow. So we have 6. 4. Then we're going to bring down the 4. And we already have that one solved right here. 
So it goes in there four times, which is 464. So we get 44. And then our last one on this page, we have 6,322 divided by 109. And our answer. Okay, we have four numbers. So we have x, x, but 109 can go into 632 five times. So we have 109 times five. We get a 45, a four, and a five. So we're going to subtract five, 45. Let's come all the way over to six, make it a five. 12 minus five is seven. 12 minus four is eight. Bring down the two. And 109 times eight will give us 872. Now guys, so when I did this previously, because I um, I have it done on another sheet of paper, I do have work shown like this. I have lots of these. It's okay if you have to do these because it helps you get the right answer. Now, we're on check understanding. At this point, I want you to stop the video, try them out, and then start the video to see if you got the right answer. So let's start on this one. We have four, nine, nine, five, divided by three, three, three. I have four spots above here. 333 cannot into four, or it can't fit into 449, but it can fit into 499 once. So we're gonna subtract this. Six, six, one, bring down our five. And I'm going to multiply this by five to see if this works. So we have 15, 16, 15, 16. So we're gonna do five. So 15 is our answer. Our next one is 945 divided by 35. We have three spots. 35 cannot fit into nine, but it can fit into 94 twice because that is 70. Bring down my five. And now 35, I'm gonna try seven. So it is seven, we get 245. So our answer for this one's 27. Now let's look down here. It took the Pioneer 11 spacecraft 2,372 days to reach Saturn. How many whole years did it take? We're going to use 365 for it. So I have 2372 divided by 365. It, we have four numbers. 365 cannot fit into two, or 23, or 237. So I'm going to try by multiplying by six. We get 30. 36 plus three is 39. 18, 19, 20, 21. And that's as high as we're going to be able to go. So we have six, two, one, nine, zero. Two minus zero is two. I'm going to borrow. 17 minus nine is eight, and we get a one. Now it says how many whole years? Whole years, it'd be six years, but there is a remainder. The remainder is 182, and that means that it was a little longer. A little longer than six years. And that's all there is for the first day of this lesson.